Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. and I am back with another garden video. So if you've been following along with all of my shed projects, you know that I have recently had the shed installed and I am now working on the area in front of it, including this field where I'm going to be putting raised beds um, to grow vegetables and cut flowers as well as a little bit of a garden in front of the shed. Not a huge garden, but you know, you can't have a shed in your garden without a few plants in front of it. So I had the whole field tilled and removed all the weeds. I'll leave a link to that video down below um, in an effort to remove as many as weeds as possible because I wasn't sure exactly how far back they were going to be able to put the shed. There's a bit of a slope back there. So if they weren't able to put the shed where I wanted it, it is where I wanted it and it had to come further up, I needed all the weeds removed. Now, for the rest of the field, um, I don't necessarily need all the weeds removed from the places where I'm putting the raised beds, the places where I'm going to be extending the pea gravel, that kind of thing. So for now, um, we've removed all the weeds, but it's been maybe a month. So when you remove weeds by tilling and then raking and shoveling, um, it's typically a two-part process because you do the first round, we removed all the weeds. I'll put a picture up. And then after that, any weeds that had seeds or were baby weeds at the time, or maybe even when you were removing those weeds, you dropped seeds. Um, those new seeds will start to sprout and grow, and that's what's happened. And all of these that were not here two weeks ago, three weeks ago. They were seeds or baby weeds, and now they are growing up into real grown-up weeds. So, at this point, we can do a couple things. We can hand remove them once more. We could spray them with a weed killer, but if we do that, I won't be able to plant there, and I do want planting space here, especially where the raised beds are gonna be. So what I am going to do at this point is I'm going to lay cardboard down, on the whole area, water it in, and then I will put my compost for my growing areas. Um, I will put my pea gravel for my path, and I will put my raised beds and my future, you know, garden dirt in those raised beds over that cardboard. And the cardboard will help to suppress the leaves, and it will eventually, it's biodegradable, so it will just break down into the soil. Um, but for now, it will smother the leaves, they will not be able to see the sun, so they will stop growing. Now, I could have done that from the beginning. I could have simply cardboarded this entire area, skipped telling, skipped pulling weeds, done completely no dig method. Um, but since I wasn't sure where the shed was going and I didn't want cardboard under the shed, I decided to go with the hard version first, and now we're gonna go with the easy version. And I could have just tilled back there, but again, I didn't know where the shed was going. So that's just kind of unfortunate. It's fine in the long run because now all of this is tilled up and will make really nice dirt when I start doing my garden beds. Either way, today, we are going to be doing the cardboard no dig method. My brother went and picked up a bunch of old boxes for me off of Facebook Marketplace. He's bringing them over. We're going to simply put them down, lay them out. I've got some landscaping pins for the corners. You don't have to put landscaping pins down, but it just helps keep the cardboard in place. Um, <laughs> especially when I'm probably not going to put pea gravel or the raised beds in immediately. That's going to still be at least a few weeks. So it just kind of holds everything in place, water everything so it settles. And then the next step for me will be the composting around the shed where the plants are going to go. So today, cardboard, no dig method on the whole field. We'll get started as soon as my brother gets here with the compost. For now, I'm gonna go water everything, put my hose away.
Okay, so as you can see, we finished all the way up front and all the way up to the driveway. So ideally, I want to connect here and connect all of this. But it has been a couple weeks. It took a while. We found these huge boxes, um, couch, I don't remember, like refrigerator, <laughs> washing machine, washing machine, like somebody got all new appliances and I scored so much. And if you watch the time lapse, you know, my brother ended up helping me with this project. This half took so much, so much less time than this half. But as you can see over the last few weeks, anywhere there's a slight crack, weeds are coming up, but the rest of the place, no weeds. So probably gonna get some little cardboard scraps come in and, and cover these spots, but it's definitely suppressing the weeds. You can see my little plants are doing great. My next step is going to be putting down a little um, brick border and composting next to the shed. Most of this is going to be pea graveled and then of course the um, raised beds. Now I'm looking for a third set of boxes to go from here down. But so far, haven't had a lot of luck finding more boxes. So we've had a pause in this project, which is fine. You know, sometimes that happens. But for now, this was a quick and easy project. It took us two days, um, both collecting boxes and putting all the cardboard down. And as you can see from the last couple weeks, it has made a big difference in the weeds. So I hope you liked this project. And if you've tried it yourself, let me know how it's worked for you. Uh, so far, it's working great for me. See you in the next one. Bye.